Hi and welcome everyone. So following on from a popular video in the Cloud Inspired channel showing how to create a SharePoint intranet site in 10 minutes I'm always getting asked what are the most popular SharePoint security best practices that we can consider that we can apply to our SharePoint sites for increased security controls and compliance once we have created our sites. So this video, it covers some best practices, ranging from controlling user access, defining sensitivity labels, uh, conditional access policies, to apply to individual SharePoint sites using authentication context. Also lock down using cloud apps to prevent copy, download, and printing of SharePoint content, policies to prevent unmanaged device access, web-only access, MFA for internal and external users, and lots, lots more. So let's get started, but before we do, please like, subscribe, and comment below to help the channel grow, and hit that bell to make sure you don't miss any up-and-coming content. Thank you. So it's possible to control access uh, using conditional access policies to SharePoint. But what if you have multiple SharePoint sites and want to control access to individual sites? So once you apply an authentication context to a SharePoint site, you can then have conditional access policies use that context to control access to that individual SharePoint site. So let's take a look how to do this. So in the entry portal, we go to protection and conditional access and then we click Authentication Contacts. Click New Authentication Contacts, and we will create one that defines our SharePoint site and access to sensitive information. And we will take a look in the following um, number of sections how to link and apply this to our SharePoint sites. Let's enable sensitivity label support in PowerShell by following this document. Links are in the description. And once we have done this, then we can create a label um, in information protection under labels. We create a new label and we enter a name and description. Define the scope. And we will define the protection settings. Then we select use conditional access policies to protect labeled SharePoint sites. We also have the option to control external sharing. Then we select our existing authentication contacts that we created earlier in this video. And then we click next and create the label. Now we use PowerShell to apply an authentication context to a site and we use PowerShell for this and we run uh, the set uh, SPO site command that targets our site and the authentication context we want to apply to that SharePoint site. So let's run that now and then in the next sections we will show how to use a CA policy to use that authentication context. So in the entry portal, we go to conditional access and we create a new policy and we give it a name and we select the users or groups that this policy will apply to. Then for our target resource, we could have selected SharePoint online, but what this doesn't give us at this point is to specify more than one SharePoint site. It's more of a global setting, so it'll apply to all your SharePoint sites. So that's where we now select authentication context in the drop down menu and we have the sensitive information um, authentication context that we created earlier. We choose client apps that we need and under session select use conditional access app control where we use cloud app security to apply policy later on in the video for app lockdown. Let's turn the policy on and create. So 
So we want to connect SharePoint uh, in Cloud Apps. So in the Defender portal, we go to Settings and Cloud Apps, and then we scroll down to Connected Apps and App Control. And we can see that for Microsoft SharePoint Online, we have um, used the app with session controls ticked. With this enabled, we can now create a policy in Cloud Apps for example, to block download. So let's do this now in the next section. So let's block downloads um, from our SharePoint site. So we go to policy management and under cloud apps and then conditional access and we create a new session policy. So we select control file download and we remove the device that does not equal filter as we want this policy to apply to SharePoint only and not the type of compliant device. As we connected our app in the previous sections of this video, then we can see SharePoint Online available in the list. And we choose our sensitivity label and we click block to uh, notify the user um, via email and customize the block message. We then create our policy. So let's see how this works with a demo in the next section. So we are signed in as our test user and we get a message that our SharePoint site is monitored and we have the download option available when we right click a document. However, when we try and download a document, um, this is blocked with our custom message that download from SharePoint is not allowed. Later on in the video, um, we can see that we can also control SharePoint downloads through access control instead to actually disable the download link on the menu. Okay, good, so let's now create a Cloud Apps policy to block cut, paste and printing from SharePoint. So in the security.microsoft.com portal under Cloud Apps, policies and policy management, we go to conditional access and we create a new session policy. We choose a template, block, cut, copy and paste based on real-time content inspection. Apply it and it fills in everything for you, which is great. So scroll down and then we are going to remove the filter for devices as we don't want this, we want it to apply to all devices. If in this scenario we wanted just to block, cut, copy and paste from a device that is not Intune compliant or hybrid Azure AD joined, we could leave this in. In the next section, we will cover blocking our managed devices from SharePoint and OneDrive via another policy, so we will move this for now. We untick content inspection, and then under block, we want to notify user um, by email and customize the block message. And we also want to include a block print um, from our policy too. So let's change that and then we can create the policy. So let's test it. And as you can see, when we are in our SharePoint site and we highlight and right click on some text, um, we don't have the option in the menu for copy. Also, when we highlight and press uh, the shortcuts, Control and C on the keyboard to copy, we get the action blocked with our custom message. Okay, good, so in this scenario, we have an unmanaged device, which is not compliant in Intune, and we can create a conditional access policy so that a compliant device is required for access. So create the policy in enter.microsoft.com portal, and we select a test user, and we will also select our authentication context as configured earlier to target our SharePoint site for sensitive labels. Then under grants, we will select grant access only if the device is marked as compliant. And if you're unsure how to register a device in Intune to mark as compliant, then check out my other videos in the Cloud Inspire channel to learn how to do this. We turn the policy on and then we create. And as we test this and log into SharePoint from a non-compliant device, we get a message that this isn't allowed and no access is available from here.
So any external users or guest users in your environment, you want to make sure MFA is uh, enabled and applied. So together with internal users, of course, this is a good idea and best practice. For external users, we can select guest or external users and select these. For internal users, we can select users or groups to apply MFA. And we can also choose directory roles as well if required. Then we select our authentication context as configured earlier to target our SharePoint site for sensitive labels. And then under grant, we want to choose require MFA. We also might want a sign-in frequency here too, um, which we can set uh, to one day, for example. So the user would need to sign in and re-authenticate an MFA every one day. And then we turn the policy on and click create. If we have a user or group we want to block to SharePoint, we can add this in a conditional access policy and choose block access. And then when a user tries to log in, they get a message you don't have access and permission to this resource. Okay, good, so let's now check out in the SharePoint Admin Center under policies, we have external sharing as shown. And my default SharePoint and OneDrive content can be shared with anyone at this point. If we want to lock this down, so no external sharing is allowed, we can do this here. But please be aware that if you are changing this, once your SharePoint or OneDrive um, has been deployed and live, this will affect the way your users are working and sharing content. And then we click Save to apply the policy. Under access control, by default, full access to SharePoint is allowed from desktop apps, mobile apps, and the web. Now we can lock this down to allow limited web only access. Please be aware though, this setting is very powerful and apply this setting with caution as when choosing this for web only access, it will automatically create two conditional access policies, which it doesn't actually tell you about in the portal when enabling this setting. And enabling it will affect access for all your users and will apply to all of your SharePoint sites. So best test this out first to confirm it works for your environment rather than apply in production. It could also have an effect on other types of access that rely on SharePoint Online. Uh, for example, Teams or OneDrive that could stop working when app enforce restriction is enabled as these both use and leverage SharePoint Online at the back end. And another thing, it's not very intelligent. So if you turn this on and switch it off, it will actually create two new conditional access policies with a different date stamp without removing any previously created policies. So please be aware the setting is very powerful. Uh, so please test first in your environment so you don't have any issues uh, for access in production. When enabling this, it will apply app-only restrictions, which will prevent all your users from downloading, printing, or syncing SharePoint from unmanaged devices. This is different to the cloud app policy created earlier on in the video, and this restriction is applied in a different way using app-only restrictions instead, uh, and it will only allow browser-only access, so no mobile or desktop client access is allowed. Okay, so with all that in mind, let's demo this and understand what conditional access policies are created when we turn this setting on. Once web-only access is enabled, when we go to conditional access policies in the Enter ID portal, we can see that two policies have been created there with date stamps. So let's take a look at the Use App Enforce policy first. So we can see it's applied to all users and it's applied to all of your SharePoint sites. We could limit this to our authentication context we created earlier to apply to one SharePoint site only. 
It also allows only browser access and no mobile or desktop client access is allowed. And it uses app enforce restrictions, which will prevent all users from downloading, printing or syncing SharePoint. Let's check out the second CA policy this also created. So this policy will block access from unmanaged devices that are not Intune compliant or enter a hybrid device joined. We will disable this policy as we don't want that type of restriction in place. We will leave the other policy in place and enabled that's been auto created um, so that we can demo web only access and block downloading printing in the next section. So let's now demo the previous settings applied in the last section. And as you can see, we have a message banner stating that your organization doesn't allow download, print or sync using this device. When we right click on a document in the download section, it is also removed there from the menu. So no download is visible and we have open only uh, in browser. Our copy block setting is still applied from our cloud apps policy created earlier on in the video. Um, and we also don't have a print option available there. We also have lots more access control settings from idle timeout um, to restrictions on allowing access from a particular network location or IP address. We can block apps that don't use modern authentication and we can also restrict access to OneDrive to members only in our security group. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. As always, please like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any future content. Catch you next time. Bye for now.